But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see in our intro, always we use a collection of a bunch of donkeys who supposedly they claim to be someone who can teach you something. So we use the donkeys not because they are knowledgeable, it's just a comedy to start with. Uh, you know, before I go live, always there's Muslims who come in the chat the second I go live, they disappear. Uh, but just to show you, give you an idea before we start our topic, uh, one of the admin was talking to a person, his name is Hashbara. Hashbara something. Let us see. Um, he was asking him the following. Hashbara, followership, that's why you should not celebrate the moon god in your fasting. Or your fe uh, yeah, feasting. Uh, the answer of the Muhammadan is brother and sister. The example of Jesus to God is like the example of Adam. He created him from dust, and he said to him, "Be," and he was. But I mean, do you see the? Do you see the the program? We talk about the moon god. The answer about the similarity of Jesus is the same as the similarity of Adam. Allah did to him be and he was. What the heck? What does this have to do with that question? And if we ask this Harbasha, who disappear always when I come live. Okay, did Allah say to Jesus be or to Adam before he finish him or after he finish him? The second you ask this question, you will see the poo-poo. Uh, okay, let me answer you. The similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. Allah said to him, be, and he was Abdul. We heard that already. We heard it. So did Allah say to be to, to Adam before he finished him or after he finished him? Okay, let me answer you, Christian Prince. First of all, you are not giving me time. Secondly, you please, please uh, be respectful. Like, what the heck? Okay, Abdul, go ahead. Answer the question. The similarity of Adam is the same as Jesus. Allah, he said to him, be and he was. Abdul, we got that already. It's in the screen. We got it. We got it. Okay, we, we are asking you now. When Allah, he said, be. Did he say it before he finished Adam or after he finished Adam? Listen, Prince. You are not giving me time to answer. I'm going to expose you. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, show me your faith. Uh, be a man and some your faith. Uh, Abdul, hold on. What does this have to do with the question? When Allah, he said be. Did he say be to Adam before he finished him or after we finish him? <laughs> and then if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah, he made mud. Which means he went to the backyard. He collects some dirt. He got some water. He put it in the sink. He mixed them together. And then he fashioned Adam. And then he made him like a, look like a man. And then he breathed into him. So, all those things is done. Before Allah he said be, or after he said be. If the Muhammad he said before Allah he said be, that means there's no need for be, already Adam is finished. <laughs> and he breathed to him after the be. 
if he say Allah, he said to him, be before he did all those things, this means Allah is stupid. I mean, he said to him, be nothing happened. He have to use his hands. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. So next time Abdul, he says to you this verse, say to him, Abdul, okay, Abdul, okay, okay, Abdul, okay. By the way, Abdul, I'm so happy that the month of Ramadan, the month of, the month of eating is over. I will miss it, honestly. I mean, what we watch now for Bray Dancing in TV. This is the month of Bray Dancing. You know, if you go and watch YouTube videos, man, oh boy, look at this. This is, the, they call them Khaymat Ramadaniya. Belly dancing, argila, shisha, hashish, smoking, cigarette, shake it, bake it, you know? This is Ramadan. It's not what they say to you in YouTube, Ramadan, brother, in Ramadan, we pray to Allah, brother. Go and see, go to the Middle East and see. This is the month of smoking. This is the month of eating. This is, this is the month where people get fat, not skinny. Yet they call it the month of fasting. But this is not our topic. Our topic is... <clears throat> uh, our topic is, what is this in my screen? Oh, this is Ramadan. Okay, this is Ramadan. Uh, smoking, argila, you name it. I mean, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are these two phrases. They are so dear to Ar Rahman, the most merciful. They're so light. Here you notice the, the difference. <laughs> he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are these two phrases. Which one is What the heck? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are these two phrases. They are so dear <laughs> to Ar Rahman, the most merciful. <laughs> There's two phrases, it's so dear to Allah. <laughs> You made me die to know what are they. They're so light on the tongue, meaning they're so easy to what is say. It? Okay. And they are so heavy on the scales. And he said they are subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al -alim. How perfect is Allah the most praiseworthy? How perfect is Allah subhanallah? This is how Allah, this is the most daring verses for Allah. You say how perfect is Allah. By the way, subhanAllah, bihamdi, you have nothing to do, how perfect, you stupid. What kind of translation, translation is? Subhan mean praise. How that can be, how perfect is Allah? I mean, look at the translation. Are you, those are shaykh? And by the way, someone, one of you, he said to me, this guy, he want to debate me and he was negotiating with him, but uh, he flee, you know, he took the hike. I mean, this religion is really hilarious. What the heck is that, man? So let us go to our topic today uh, about uh, Prophet Muhammad peace uh, upon him. And I mean, this uh, YouTube is really, is really something. Said Sallallahu Alaihi there are so dear to. Okay, I think we have a customer. Hold on. Who is calling? Let us see. Hold on. Muhammad. Okay. Let us call Mr. Muhammad. <clears throat> Hello? Good morning to you, sir. How are you doing? So you are you, you, you are a Muslim? You are a Muslim? What? You are a Muslim? Yes, yes. All right. And do you know what the title of our video today? No, I just have some question. If you let me ask. You, you can ask the questions as many as you want, but we have a topic. What do you think? Should we, should we like to leave our topic for your sake? What do you think? Like you okay, see, we just we just mentioned no, quick, we, we just mentioned something very simple. I will, I will give you a chance to answer it, ask me the question, but we just mentioned something very simple. I don't know if Muslims can answer me, and as long as you are a Muslim, I'm sure you can. Uh, when Allah He said to Adam, "Be," did He say to him, "Be" before He finished him or after He finished him? I don't know why English is not good. Why not? I so mean, you, you, just are, have some you, are, you are the Muslim, my friend. Aren't you a Muslim? 
And I can see you are growing your beard now. Yes. Soon you will become a sheikh, mashallah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just have a question about Christianity and the Bible. Uh, do you believe in the Bible? It is corrupted in our religion. It's corrupted. Okay. So why the Quran says the, or the Bible is not corrupted? It says it is corrupted. Where, it, say, where, where, it's, where it says that? I, you know, I'm going to go with you before, because before we continue, we need to check the facts you say to us and see if they are true or not, right? So when the Quran says that the Quran is believing is in what is between our hands, did the Quran lie? So, that is it. Did the Quran lie? Did the Quran lie? So, I just want to tell you that in Bible, my friend, my friend, Jesus my friend, be, be, worship me. okay, no problem. Before we go there, did the Quran lie when the Quran says confirming what and believing in what we have with us? You are a Muslim, right? Why Muslims don't read their book? And why Muslims they deny their book? And why Muslims they lie about their book? I'm not saying you're a liar, you know. I, you know, I can tell you are a young man. You do not know much. I, I understand. But the Quran in front of you, chapter 2, the, the, this is the chapter of the Hindu. I don't know if you know the story. There's a bunch of Hindus. They came to Musa's. And they wanted him to show them the power of the cow. So Musa's, he, there's a guy who was killed. And they told him, okay, can your God do bring this guy from death and uh, he told them okay bring a cow we killed the cow with the with the guy with the cow and then the guy he came up from from death and you know he became uh, uh, you know he he become alive right so now yeah. we are showing you stories in the Quran and you Muslims believe in it even though it's funny so how come you Muslims you claim that the Bible is corrupted when the Quran says in chapter 2 verse number 89 and many other verses that the Quran confirming what is with us not only confirming actually I don't know if you speak Arabic or not it says musaddiqan lima ma'ahum which means believing in what is with them so why the Quran says believing in what is with that with us and then we see Muslims calling us attacking the Bible insulting the Bible without knowledge I just want to say that if, if even we believe in Bible, Jesus never said that, worship me. My there friend, is never okay. mentioned that Christianity. Okay, well, uh, Jesus, he said, okay, let me ask you, Allah have 99 names, correct? Yes, yes. Why Allah, he said that he is the truth? One of his name is Al-Haq. Yes. Okay, is only Allah Al-Haq or there's other other people, they are Al-Haq? Or only Allah? No. Allah is God. He is okay. Well, Jesus says, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. So the names of Allah is stolen from the from what Jesus said, my friend. Your religion, your religion. You don't have a religion. Even the names of your God is stolen from the name of my God. So when Jesus, he said, I am the truth, that's mean you, I just ask you, is the truth is somebody else or only Allah? You said only Allah. So here we go. Jesus, before Allah was exist, before Muhammad came to exist, Jesus says, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the resurrection. Who is the life? Allah or Muhammad? If, who is the life? If who is the life in, in Islam? Who is the life? Islam. Where, uh, who, is it, who is the life in Islam? The life. Who is the life? Allah or Muhammad? Allah is alive because he is God. No, the life, Muhammad the life itself. Not, not saying alive. I'm not saying alive. The life, the life, that life. Who is the life, Allah or Muhammad? Muhammad, Allah. Allah, Allah is God. Are you sure which one? Choose one. Allah or Muhammad? Yes. Allah, right? So Allah. as you see, your God, Allah, claiming to be God by, by, by stealing the word of Jesus when he said, I am the life. And you Muslims, you say, Christian friends, I told you to tell me one verse in the Bible, it said, I am God worship me. You Muslims, you don't even read. You do not know your book. And then you come to school us about our book. So here we go. Jesus, he said many times, each time Jesus, he said, I am, he is saying, I am God. I am the life. Who is the life? Who give life? Only God, correct? Who is the truth? Only God, because everything else is not, even the earth, the heaven will be destroyed. 
the, the who is going to stay is God himself. He is the only truth, only fact. So you as a Muhammad and you worship Allah for what reason? Because even Christians say the Christianity is a way of life. It's not religion. So only religion is Islam. That's it. But, but you don't have religion. Okay, has... okay, let me ask you. You said you have religion, right? Yes. Okay. Where your religion is coming from? Religion is... What, what do you mean by this? You are the one who mentioned to me uh, Islam is religion. Christianity is not. It's you. So you are saying to me Islam is religion, but you do not know what religion means? Religion means religion. Religion means religion. There is nothing ah, special. Water means water, and ice means ice, and snow means snow, and, and zucchini means zucchini. You, you, you must be studying in Einstein University. So, my friend, when you say I have a religion, and I ask you where your religion came from, and suddenly you do not know what to say. Okay, let me let me repeat the question. Islam is coming from where? So, my English is not good because it's not my native language. That is why. What is your what is your something. what is your native language? I am from Afghanistan. Afghanistan, Amar Rabbi Amar, my friend. In Afghanistan, what they taught you in school about Islam? Islam is coming from where? Islam. Is religion since the first person on the earth? Ah, okay. Who is the first birth person on earth? Adam. Okay, well, the Quran says the opposite. When Allah he created Adam, He says, "Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa, uh, khalifa or khalifa." Muslims are, you know, they have a problem with that. Okay, when Allah He says, "I'm going to to make something," you know what khalifa mean, right? Yes, yes. Okay, what does that mean? Fil ardi khalifa. Khalifa, sorry. It's like a, a some. No, I will, I will make some. Huh? The... Sorry. Someone that is sent by God in the earth. No, somebody is going to inherit the earth. Okay, when you say inherit the earth, that's mean somebody was before him there, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so who was there? So, according to Bible... No, no, I'm asking say? you, my friend, my friend. Focus with me, focus with me. Who was there before Adam when Allah He said this verse in the Quran that I'm going to make somebody to inherit the earth? Inheritance is something was owned by somebody else. You don't say the word inherit. Khalifa is what Khalifa is. Khalifa is somebody came after Muhammad inheriting Muhammad authority. So I am going to make somebody that is Adam to inherit who was there in the earth. Is it true that you Muslim believe there was other people before Adam? He lived for at least thousand years, and when he lived, there was another people also. Okay, so were, so but when, but when I asked you, when I asked you, remember what you said five, five minutes ago? You said the first man was created. So, but this is obviously not the first man. Muslims are very confused. He is not the first man. Was Adam the first man? If there is people before him, well, Adam then is not the first man. What do you think? Maybe there is an answer for this. I just, Christian, I just want to... You don't have any... You see, I, I'm not expecting you to have an answer, my friend. I'm speaking to you in a friendly way. I know you are young, and I'm not, I'm not really... I'm not pushing you hard. But as you see, Islam is a stupid religion. Because how in one hand, you Muslims, Allah told you that Adam is the first man, and then in the same time, he is saying to you he was inheriting other kind of a human. Because inheritance, it have to be for the same kind. You don't make a cat inherit a man, you know, unless you are mentally ill. You don't make a donkey inherit, uh, uh, you know, a human being. So a man inherit a man. So if there is no man before Adam, then how does this verse work? Obviously, there's something wrong in this verse, chapter 2, verse number 30. As you see, all of them, they are in the cow chapter. It's messed up. This is the, this is the cow. It's driving me crazy, man. You know? So, let me ask you, what, what's your name, my friend? Muhammad Dawood. Muhammad Dawood. Muhammad, I'm going to help you. 
Can you give me one thing to prove to me that Islam is from the true God? Anything. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to ask you any question. I'm not going to push you hard to see how much you know. Uh, I, I will let you tell me. Uh, let's, let's say you saw me in the street and you want to, or let us say, you know, we're taking bus together or train and you want to convert, convert me to Islam. So how you can convert me? Help me. Go ahead. Why Islam is from the true God? Yeah. There is a verse in Al Imran, okay. chapter that, and whoever desires utter in Islam as religion, never will it be accepted from him, and that's... he and the hereafter will be among the losers. Okay, that's wonderful. So anyone who don't now... accept, okay, hold on, anyone who don't accept other religion other than Islam will not be accepted from him, correct? Correct? You show me one verse like this in Bible. No, hold on. Oh no, the Bible have verses saying anyone who don't accept Jesus, he will go to hell, including you, your friend. So, but we just heard you saying that Allah will accept only Islam as a religion and other ones, they will not go. So how the Quran says those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabian who worship stars, they will go to heaven. Chapter 2, verse number 62. I never seen this verse before. I just put it there, my friend. I have my own verse in the Quran. I made my new Quran. Chapter 2, the cow. You see all the problem, all your problem now, I'm making them in the cow chapter. This is the cow chapter. Is your, uh, from now on, you will hate cows forever. I can tell. You will start eating pork. So verily those who believe, and those who they are Jews, and the Christians, and the Sabian, and whoever believe in Allah, and the last day, I mean, who is left? It's later. What, what translator? Who is left? Nobody left. Nobody left. Sabi and they are people who worship stars. If, if Muhammad knew about the Hindu, he would add the Hindus. You know? So uh, those who believe in, uh, those who believe, oh, those are the Muslims. And those who they are Jews, okay, uh, Jack Shalom is included now. And, uh, uh, and the Christian, uh, in, you know, including uh, uh, all the Christians, you know, three billions. And the Sabi and all those who worship stars, Zeradesh, you know, and all the Hindus and all the atheists and all the, what the heck is that? So how one verse in the Quran says, the only religion Allah he accept is Islam. And then we find this. So the, the, those Christians that really follow Jesus, they will reach Islam. Jesus never say worship me. He was a hmm. prophet. He was a human, a prophet. He was a, a human. human okay. Is, prophet, you, is, human. is your God Allah a human? No, no. So why he have a foot? He never said I'm a human. God. No, they, why? Okay. Human. Listen, my, my friend Muhammad, focus with me. You said I, I, you said Jesus is a human. Okay. What a human mean? He have feet. He have legs. Correct. He have hands. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Do Allah have hands? No. What the heck? He lost them in Afghanistan. <laughs> I told him, don't go to Afghanistan. <laughs> you know, he was playing with bombs and he lost. What's wrong, Muhammad? You do not know that your God, Allah, he has hands. Humans. Huh? Hands. What? Only God creation have hands and, and so, Allah is not okay. similar to any. Okay, so uh, uh, only... A creation have hands. So if Allah have hands, that's mean Allah is an, is a creation, correct? Yes, yes. All right. So why the Quran says the following? Uh, there's tons of verses, you know, as an example. Let us read this one. Oh, who you believe, don't like bring something between the hands of Allah. Let us show you the verse. Hands here maybe mean like like under Allah, like something else. No. Not real hands. Physical. No, no, no. Those are hands, literally hands. And you can watch uh, you can watch videos by Sheikh Asim. I think he is from uh, 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 from uh, Afghanistan in the Mississippi next to Brazil. It says here as an example, chapter 58, uh, verse verse number 12. When you spend something, you see here, the Muslim, they took the word hands from the translation. There is no hands. You see, if you read in Arabic, 
اتس ايز فقدموا بين يدي نجواكم صدقة فقدموا بين يدي نجواكم صدقة so Allah have two hands Allah he made he created shaitan and Adam by his two hands and we can play for you videos by Sheikh Asim by Zach Zachar you know Zachar Naik right yes yes yeah oh, you know yeah. I heard they will put him in Disneyland these days I'm not sure if this is true or not so all of them, everybody says that Allah have hands. So how come you do not know your God that he have hands and have foot? As an example here, let us go to the hadith. This is the hadith. Uh, your prophet says that Allah, he put his foot in the fire and the fire will say qat qat. Which means enough, enough. What, yeah. do you, what do you think? What, so you say to me, only creation has hands and like, like creatures have hands but as you see Allah himself he have a foot he have hands and he have fingers by the way he have five fingers not six I would think that, huh? that some hadith are fake fake hadiths there are a lot oh, this, of is fake hadiths. this is Sahih al Bukhari However, this is Sahih al Bukhari peace be upon him Sahih al Bukhari have fake I don't I cannot believe in any hadith okay okay well what no. about what about the Quran I said so, so, Hundred percent, I'm sure on Quran. Okay, so when I show you verses from the Quran, are you okay with that? Yes, yes. All right. So let us go and see some some verses in the Quran. And now I hope you will not say to me, I uh, you know, uh, I don't believe in the Quran because that would be a problem. So you, do you promise me you will not say after I show you the verses, you will not say I am I don't believe in the Quran. The Quran have fake. Uh, verses do you promise me i promise okay are you willing to buy me a one-way ticket to afghanistan if i win because i know if i what? go there i will know i will never come back you know i'm just joking with you no, don't, come don't. Here. okay okay let us let us go but and see guess. okay let, let us see the let us see what what the quran is saying the jews they say that the hands of allah are tied, are tied up and Allah, he condemned them for saying that. He says, no, Allah's hands is not tied up. Let us read the verses together so, you know, you can read and you can see. Here we go. You can read it in your language, by the way. I don't care. I mean, if you want. This is a chapter 5, verse number 64. And let us put you here. All right. Can you read? Okay. Can, can you read for me? Can you read for me chapter 5, verse number 64? Which I will search for it. Chapter 4. Chapter 5, verse number 64. I think it is that is the grace of Allah which He bestow on whom He wills. So you can tell me what, My what friend, you mean. Focus with me, focus with me. Chapter 5, verse number 64. I don't know what are you talking about. The Jews says, you know the Jews, Jack Shalom, of my neighbor. He says, Allah hands are, is tied up. Allah hands is tied up. Allah, he got them busted. He says, no, his hands is not tied up. So you just say to me, Allah don't have hands. Allah in the Quran says he have hands and I can play for you right now Sheikh Asim saying or Azak and Naik or tomato potato or tomato sauce shake anyone you want all of them they agree that yes Allah have hands Allah have foot Allah have a shin so why you Muslim do not even know who is your God I mean isn't it a shame you pray five times you bow down you, you you put your butt up your head down and you do not even know that if your God have a hands or not I will give you an example. Like don't don't give I me an example. Me. Don't give me an example. Give me the answer. Do Allah have hands or not? I will just tell you one thing. Don't escape from my hands. 
It doesn't mean I don't scream for him. My, 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 my friend, don't no, my, my friend, my friend. This is not up to you. This is not up to me. This is up to your prophet. Your prophet, he says, Allah have shin. Allah have a physical body. So when you're Muslim, you try to fix it. You make it more blind. Is it up to you? Is it up to me? It's our, or, or this is what or it is. So if your prophet says, this is what it is. Okay, what if we open now the interpretation and we read the interpretation together? If the interpretation says Allah have a hands, okay, well, the Allah have hands. If the interpretation says no, does not mean Allah have hands, then Allah does not have hands. What do you think? As an example, when Allah, he said, I created you by my two hands. Was Allah speaking about literally he used his hands or not? All Muslim scholars and your prophet agree that this is Allah using his hands. So when you say no, you are just trying to chapter 38 verse number 75. Allah, he said to Iblis, which is supposed to be Satan, what prevented you from present, pr prostrating yourself to whom I have created with my bow, the both of my hands? Do you see the word both? Yes. Okay. So do Allah have a hands, literally hands? Did he, why he, if they are not uh, literally hands, why he say both? Maybe he have hands, but it's not like human hands. Ah, my like friend, I have a surprise for you. My hands is not like a human hands. <laughs> 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 I must be Allah too. You know, last time I tried to, like, you know, I want to get married. So I went to a, a, a woman and I asked for her hand. And then I, I like, I, I showed her my hand because I want to give her the ring. The second she saw my hand, she got scared and she ran away. Since then, she never came back. This is a true story, by the way, you know, I have witnesses for it, four witnesses. So as you see, Allah have both hands and you Muslims worship a God. You think that only the one who is a human, he have hands. And this is why you say Jesus cannot be God because he have a body. He have hands, he have feet. And, uh, and then we check, we find that Allah have hands. Allah have five fingers in each one of them. Allah have, have a foot and Allah have a mouth and Allah have eyes and Allah have a face. Uh, by the way, Allah don't have ass. I don't know why. How he said? Well, even Jesus born from a human. He's, so he's, he's a human. He's born. He's born. Okay, my friend. Uh, Jesus is the word of God, and Jesus is born from a woman, but doesn't mean that he is uh, coming from the women, because this woman she cannot make Jesus, obviously, for a very simple reason. If Mary, she have a husband, then we can say, well, this is sexual process. And God, he gave the human being the ability of recreation. But as you see, even the, even the Quran says that Jesus is born of a virgin. So human being is not really involved of Jesus coming to existence. This is a miracle of God. So when you are Muslim, you claim <laughs> that you believe in the Quran. And the Quran says Mary was a virgin. And then suddenly you say, oh, Jesus is born of a human. Suddenly you step over your God words and you don't want to believe in him no more. And you deny that Jesus is a miracle and the human have nothing to do with him. Otherwise, Jesus should be born like everybody. Have a father, have a mother. Can you tell me why Jesus don't have a father? Jesus, because it's a miracle. God ah, a miracle because it's a miracle. So why you just a second ago, you say Jesus is born of a woman. How it's a miracle. Miracle. So you, you just say Jesus is a miracle. So Jesus is God because God is a miracle. Who is miracle? God. God is not a miracle. Muhammad have Muhammad miracles. Who? Muhammad. Muhammad is a miracle. What is miracle about him? Because he have boogers in his nose? He split the moons. Like he split the moon. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I'm going to split my beard to two pieces. If you can show me where Muhammad in the Quran says he split the moon. So it is an hadith, not in the Quran, it's an hadith. Ah, but a second ago you told me you don't accept the hadith. So some hadith that are not compatible. Ah, not so we are Muslims, you know, we are very flexible. You know, did you see a lizard before? They changed the color, the lizard changed his color like he is green when he is over the grass and he is yellow when he is over a yellow. Which, which color is yours now? So either you accept the hadith, I showed you Sahih al-Bukhari and you step on it. It's other Bukhari. And you said to me, al-Bukhari have lies. 
If we go in the Quran, look what the Quran says about the moon splitting. And that will be hilarious, by the way, because the Quran doesn't say even who did that. It says the judgment day is near and the moon is split. And this is the chapter of the moon. Right? The chapter of the moon. And who, okay, but, okay, who is the one who did? Who, who is the one who split the moon? Read the verse for me. If you can show me in the verse where it says, who is the one who split the moon? I'm going to come to Afghanistan and I will have coffee with you. For sure you'll pay for it. Because originally I am a Jew, you know. No, you, can you don't pay. I'm always happy to huh? see you. What, what? No, I tell you, I, I am happy if you come here to Afghanistan. Thank you very much. My friend, I'm sure Taliban, they will be welcoming me in the airport. <laughs> but this is not the question now. The hour has near, the, the hour has drawn near and the moon has a splenic lift ascender. Okay, who is the one who is splitting the moon? Look, the translation, they are adding things in the verse that's not there. So, where in the verse it says that Allah even he split the moon? Where in the verse it says that Muhammad split the moon? Where in the verse says anything about who did that? And how in the world your God, he says, this is a sign of the day of judgment. The, 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 not sign only, the day of judgment started. And this was 1400 years ago. So I will tell you something else. Even Adam don't have father. So why he is not God? He, how Adam would have father if he was more? He's not born, my friend. <laughs> Adam is not born. How he will have a father or a mother? Jesus is born. You cannot compare. Abdul, focus with me. Abdul. What about Muhammad Abdul, focus with me. Focus with me. In order for us to compare between two, we have to compare between someone. He is coming from the same place. So was Adam born of a man and a woman? No. Adam was from dust, made from dust, from water. Allah he mixed him together, he fashioned him as a man, and then he breathed into him, correct? Yes. Okay, so this the question about why Adam don't have a father, that's funny, because simply, he's not born. So the question is, why every human being, including you, me, and Muhammad, we have a father, but Jesus don't have a father? Who don't have a father? Jesus, Jesus don't have a father. Who is his father? So it is a miracle from Allah. Ah, did you say it is okay, well, are we going to repeat the same thing? But the question is why? I mean, okay, well, God, uh, well, do Jesus is, is a short of miracles? I mean, this person, you Muslim call him Isa, he can create from the mother bird. That make him a creator, that make him God. He can heal the leper. He can make the blind see. He can uh, feed thousands and millions of people from nothing. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. I mean, he have tons of miracles. He do not need more. So what is the point of Jesus being born without father? Yeah, so sorry, I have some work here now. Ah, oh, you have I'm work now. Ah, uh, you have work. Okay. Yeah, they work in Afghanistan. Thank you so much. In Afghanistan, they work a lot. I can tell. Hmm. You, you will come, yes, my friend. Talibur. I know, I know you work. You, are, you. To you are talking from work right now? Yes, yes. What do you do, my friend? No, I'm, I'm have some work now. Just eat. Do you know? Just uh, eat. Ah, you have to eat. This is the, uh, the you have to eat uh, baklava. Uh, this is the eat. Okay, but let me ask you. Uh, in the in the eat, the Muslim they call it uh, fatr, but in fact it is adha because you Muslim you sacrifice a lot of goats and sheep in this day. So why you call it fatr when it is adha? Don't you sacrifice today? Tons of animals, millions of animals, and why you sacrifice them? What is only? Why you sacrifice those animals? So it is a command from Allah because we gave the meat for food. Can you show me the command? Can you, can you show me the command from Allah to sacrifice after Ramadan? No, no. It is, uh, now is Eid al Fitr. I know, Two I know, later, I know. No, but now you sacrifice. If you go right now, go in the street. Did you sacrifice today a lot of sheep in the last month, uh, the last days of Ramadan? Yes. Correct. Yes, yes. Why you sacrifice? It's Ramadan. You said to me, Adha. 
is the one next Eid. Okay, no problem then. But you sacrifice now, the same as Al-Hasu. So both of them, they are Adha. So why you sacrifice? Do you know? No, what? Tell me. Okay, because you are trying to copy the Christian and the Jews. Everything you have is stolen from us. My friend Taliban, he took everything from us. You know? Taliban, they took the airport from American. Taliban, they took a bicycle from the American. And Taliban, they took the Bible from the American and they tried to create a religion called Islam. And that's what Muhammad did. Muhammad with the Hindu is a Hindu, with the Jews is a Jew, with the Christian is a Christian, with the atheist is an atheist, and with the Sabian who worships stars, he's a Sabian. So you're a prophet, you do not know why we ask you, why you have no idea. Uh, let us maybe, maybe, uh, do you have a sheikh in, in, from Taliban can join us soon? Can you bring a sheikh to call me and you like you, he's sick next, next to you from Taliban? That would be interesting. They have nothing with Islam, just they use Islam name. Today, that's why more people hate Islam. Uh -huh. I don't support these groups. Uh, okay, you don't. Okay. Yes, yes. So, but okay, do you have a sheikh in your uh, in, in your town? He's a Muslim. He can join us in the conversation. No, no, I don't have. Why not? How come? Don't you go to the mosque? My English is not good. I... My friend, it's not you. Okay, no, your English is fine. Do you have a? Don't you have a mosque? You have a sheikh in the mosque. No, no. You don't have a sheikh in the mosque? What do you have? Sheikh in the mosque? Yeah, who is the sheikh in the mosque? Who is the imam? Oh, come on. Sheikh, sheikh. Sheikh, ah, oh, sheikh, ah, sheikh, ah, sheikh, ah. Oh, I mean, you are funny, my friend. You are a Afghani guy. You don't speak Arabic. When I say to you, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you don't know, you know what I'm saying until I say it in Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic, Sheikh. Okay, do you have Sheikh in the mosque? Do you have Sheikh? Oh, we call them Sheikh, Imam. So why, Sheikh, so who is who I mean is the Sheikh. one who is the one who teach in the in the mosque in your in your country where you live? Who is the one who teach the Muslim in the mosque? Huh? Sheikh, but they don't know English. They don't, they don't know English. You translate. You translate. Bring somebody who will speak very good English. We can have him. No problem. What do you think? Okay, I will. Inshallah. All right. I will tell Let them. me know. You know, you can text me anytime when we, I am live. I, I my Skype always is a cloth. Closed, you know, because uh, I open it only when I go live. Just take a note. So if I don't answer you, I'm not ignoring you, but I don't open Skype unless I am live. All right? I know, you know. I will tell, I will find someone. Okay. Someone well, thank you. Information about this thank you, Muhammad, for calling us. And I'm happy to have you, my friend. We learn a lot of things from you, you know, and you are very smart. And uh, don't forget to check about Allah have hands and Allah have fingers and Allah have foot and Allah has shin. This is why the Muslims in the old days, they used to say Shinnunuya. The Christian, they say Hallelujah. The Muslim, they say Shinnunuya. Why? Because their God is a Shin. So don't next time come to a Christian and say to him, Oh, your God is a human. Because obviously your God, maybe he isn't a human, but he have a body, he have hands, he have feet. Maybe he's an octopus. We do not know. We are trying to find out. Thank you, Muhammad, for calling. I am very really happy to talk with you. You will. Inshallah, next time again, I will talk with you. Thank you so much. All right. Bring the sheikh with you. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't forget. Okay, okay. All right. Inshallah. Take care. Take care. Goodbye. All right. Well, he's a nice, nice guy. No problem. Let us see. Uh... We went out of our topic because of uh, of this call, but it's okay what we can do. I mean, no problem. We need to do what we need to do. Scooby Scooby Doo. You know, speaking about Islam is the same as speaking to Scooby Scooby, -Scooby Doo who have no idea what to do. <laughs> and you know, the Muslims, they think they have God and they have religion. You don't have religion. This man, Muhammad, when he was with the Arab pagan, yeah, okay, the Kaaba is my Lord, and the black stone, I kiss you. Suddenly, Muhammad, he stopped praying to the direction of the Kaaba. What happened? Suddenly, he is praying in the direction of Jerusalem. Look, what the heck? <laughs> and then when the Jews, they did not accept him to be one of them, Muhammad, he started, he switched back to the old roots, you know, suddenly he, he, he prayed back to the Kaaba, like what happened? So the Kaaba was important sometime, it's not important sometime? Obviously, this is a scam. 
this guy is trying to find a group to host him so he can be a prophet for them and he can take over. So he switch, you know, backward, forward as he wish. Uh, we have a Mohammedan here, this guy, actually we called him, you know, before he did not answer. Let us see a different one. If there is any Muslim, you know, as you see, we have a title actually for the video. The seven heaven of Allah. Until now, we spoke nothing about this topic. If you are a Muslim and you are interested to help us to speak about the seven heavens, please let us know. Uh, you know, always you notice that Muhammadan, there are people who knows nothing about their belief. And even their sheikhs, they are the last one to know too. So don't think that only, uh, you know, those uh, young Abdul or, you know, all of them, they are the same. Like, look at this guy. Uh, this guy, he claimed to be a sheikh and uh, he have knowledge. And okay, what he will say to us? Listen. For Allah alone and to avoid the worship of false gods. This essential message has been preserved in Islam in a way that it was never preserved before. Listen carefully. The message of Islam is preserved never as never preserved before. Why? Tell us more. Not because the message was different, because uh -huh. it was the same message. Uh -huh. But because of the fact that there would be no other prophets who would come after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ah, so Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand messenger. All their messages is gone. So Allah He said to Himself, ah, "This is the last one I send. If I don't preserve this message, I got a finger." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you see the logic? But isn't this, if it, if it is the same message, why is your God, stupid God, you don't preserve the message anyway? From the first one to the last one. Brother and sister, Islam preserved, brother, as never before. What the heck? Allah sent 124,000 messengers. 124,000, can you name them for me? <laughs> We can name for you 25 only. Like, what the heck? What about the rest? What happened? Their, their record is lost. <laughs> and okay, brother, where is the message is preserved? It's preserved. Okay, what is that? This is the tablet, brother. What the heck? Allah have a tablet? Is it Galaxy or Apple? Allah have a tablet, and this tablet, brother, is the frame of it, is uh, rubies and uh, <clears throat> flower. And where Allah, he put it, brother? He put it between the eyes of the ends of Zabril. Sorry, it's, it's Rafil. That's deep. Look where Allah, he put the tablet. He said to himself, where I can secure the tablet from a Christian prince? This guy, he can find baklava anywhere, you know? Where I can save it, where I can save it, where I can save it. He thought about putting it in the laundry machine. This is what my mom once done to me when I was a kid. I found the baklava there. She could not hide it from me. Allah, he said he will find it. He will smell it. So I'm going to put it between the two eyes of the ends of Zibril. Sorry, it's Rafil. Brother... Is that true that this is how Allah preserved his message? He put it in a tablet and he put it between the eyes of the of Israel. <laughs> true story, true story. <laughs> oh boy. And then you will find another Abdul. You see that the Abduls, they are very creative. You know, the first Abdul is Muhammad. Remember that. Uh uh, we have a, we have a Abdul. He is saying something. Let us see. I will call you this time. If you don't answer me, I'm going to block you, Muhammad Jafar. This is a warning. Last time, let me call you. Let us see if he will answer or not. He went offline. Let me block you then. We have no time for kids.
So if we go and see different uh, shake, you know, other shake, uh, trying to catch on our topic, the one about the seven heavens. This shake is really good. I mean, really, really good. This is not the same shake who said to the other shake, if you interrupt me, he will do oral sex for him. You remember the shake? <laughs> I mean, imagine two shakes are debating. And the first one he said to the second one, and both are from Pakistan, brother. If you interrupt me, I'll do perform oral sex for you. <laughs> what does this guy want to say to us? What the heck? Okay. Uh huh. Ooh. See? What the heck? <whistles> yeah. What the heck? Guys. From the first heaven to the second heaven, from the third heaven to the third heaven, from the third heaven to the seventh heaven, and what if on the top of the seventh heaven, the chair of Allah? <laughs> Science. Science and knowledge, I mean, this is how we learn. And what is the distance between the, first, the, the earth and the first heaven? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then he will say to you that the distance between the heaven and the earth is 500 years. <laughs> Did you hear the music in the background? <laughs> hey, Abdul. So the distance between the first heaven and the second heaven and the third heaven and the five seven. Oh, you guys, you cannot hear it. Sorry, the music, there's no sound. It's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I, I will I will play the sound for you. The distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is five hundred years. <laughs> now, at what speed only Allah Himself knows. In what speed Allah only knows. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, comedy. Hilarious comedy. And brother. The distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is 500 years. And from the second heaven to the third heaven, 500 years. And from the third heaven to the fourth heaven, 500 years. And from the fourth heaven to the fifth heaven, 500 years. And from the, okay, how many heavens now we have? Huh? So Muhammad, as long the distance is 500 years between each heaven, how your prophet, he went up to Allah and he came back in a few hours? <laughs> oh boy <laughs> isn't it your god allah is the one who took muhammad at night from his house all the way to the seven heaven how it is 500 years and how muhammad in the top of a flying donkey he was able to go, this is the distance backward, forward. It's not only to go, to go and to come back in a few hours. Any Muslim can tell us? No sound, no sound. It's okay, I got it, I got it. We fixed that, we fixed it. We mute sometime the sound. Uh, did you hear this guy when he was talking? I think you heard this guy, right? Before we received that call. So Allah, he preserved the Quran because it is the last message. 
Allah did not preserve the Bible. Allah did not preserve the Torah. Why? It's not the last message. It makes sense. Allah, he sent messages. And Allah, he don't have backup. <laughs> Muhammadan would like to join us and tell us uh, anything he want about the fifth heaven and the sixth heaven and the seventh heaven and the first heaven what do you think any Muslim can tell us how and you know the funny is you go to a website and the Muslims are teaching people about this look 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 here somebody post in Quora this is a website it says here the question what is the difference between the seven heaven mentioned in the Quran? This is the question. Muhammad Tawur answer, he says, Allah created seven heaven, which is not be confused with paradise. Oh, this Abdul is being smart, supposedly. No, Abdul, according to Islam, this is paradise. And you are an idiot. Isn't it your prophet? He went to the seven heaven and he found the lotus tree. Isn't it your prophet? He found the prophets in the first heaven, his first sky, and, and he found the prophet living in the second sky. I mean, what's wrong with those Abdul? Where the Abdul he got the information from? And this Abdul, he says, details of the heavens are rarely mentioned in the Quran. The heaven are ab uh, above each other. The first heaven is the lowest. <sighs> Look how deep it is. The lowest. The lowest to who? The lowest. Let us see, there's a Muslim trying to contact us. Maybe we can get him here. You need to submit and repent. Well, I don't know. You see, I can repent and submit if you promise me that Allah will not make my penis endless. I mean, that is scaring the hell of me. Do you know what ants can do to it? The ants will see an endless sojages in the backyard what they will do hmm? what they will do imagine hello 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 no we don't hear you potato In the front of you, you will see it says that it take all 93 billion light years to observe the universe and what is beyond is the lowest heaven. We just heard the Abdul quoting his prophet saying the other Abdul, it says it take 500 years between the first heaven and the second heaven, etc. until you arrive to the seventh heaven. That means this is a total of 3,500 years. Now we are speaking about the speed of light. 93 billion light years, Muhammad said, Muhammad Tor. See how Muslims, they very flexible. And this idiot, he says, the lowest heaven is the only one with the stars. <laughs> The rest of the heaven uh, are different from our universe. The seventh highs heaven contain the bait of Al-Ma'mur, but you eat it, you just said, this is not the paradise. So why the house of Allah is there? Isn't it you Muslim, you sit under the house of Allah? Eh, kids, they are confused. Nur Hassan, Nur al-Hassan. Uh, co-founder of business Sashish Kebab Hamas, he said Quran does not say much concerning the structures of the universe but it does draw attention to the marvelous creation as signs and reality of the power of God, the Quran and the universe from his river, whole Quran blah, 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 speeches, isn't it the Quran says, okay let us talk about the structures in the heaven isn't it the Quran says that Allah he sent hail from mountains has ice in it in the sky in heaven
isn't it? So if Allah, he knew the structures in the of the heaven and the earth, shouldn't Allah knew such a simple thing about how hail is formed? And the Muslims, they try to fix it by adding the word the cloud. The Arabic is so clear, it says, وَيُنِزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ hmm? Allah, He sent hail from mountains in heaven, not the cloud. You see, they lie. There's no cloud. This is Yusuf Ali translation. Let us see a different translator. Uh, Sarwar. <laughs> Allah, brother, Allah, brother, he knows everything, okay. And then he says, read carefully, and then he sent down hailstone from mountains in the sky. Do you see it, Muslims? This is your God who knows the structures of heaven. Is it how hail is formed? Any Muhammadan? So all those scientific uh, speeches in the Quran, Muslim they claim, I mean, even your God is so silly to the point you think hail is coming from mountains, Allah, he break it from there and he throw it at us. I feel sorry for Allah, I mean, come on. Does God, he have to go and uh, break hail from mountains to throw it at, at, at me? And then now he missed? Because obviously he used it as a way to punish people, right? It says he strike, he strike as he wish with it. The one he like. فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ So he strike whoever he wish, and he protect from it whoever he wish. Look like Allah protected me from here. This is, this, this is, the, this is the, the dummy, Muhammad trying to figure out, actually there's a book, it's called the book of Enoch, but this is not the biblical one, this is a fake book. The book of Enoch, which is the fake one, uh, speaking about warehouse, God have a warehouse, where he stole, stole like, you know, stuff, you know, like gold, uh, even wisdom, etc. And Muhammad is taken from those stories. And he put it in the Quran, and he claimed that this is coming from his God. Who is a Muhammadan want to tell us? As in, uh, if you go to, this is chapter uh, 24, verse number 42, the one you see in the screen. If you go to chapter 13, let me do this. What the chapter 13, verse number 13 says? Thirteen, thirteen. It's like a music in my ears. Thirteen, thirteen. That's amazing. Okay. Let us see. We open the interpretation so people can read with us and we have some fun. Let us see, English. I was trying to open the website, it's taking time. This website is owned by the King of Jordan. 
and that's why it doesn't function all the time. All right, I think now it's working. Let us see. It's still not working, actually. Here we go, finally. <clears throat> Chapter 13, verse number 13, claim that the thunder is an angel. And in other hadith, it says that this angel, he have 70,000 angels in the right of his hand, or the right hand, and other 70,000 angels in the left hand. So when he, they asked the prophet, and what about the fire belt we see? He said, this is the fire belt. He hit the cloud with it. He said, what about the sound? He says, when he moved his hand to the right side, 70,000 angels praise Allah and scream. And other, when he moved his hand, left hand, other 70,000 angels, they praise Allah. And the thunder himself is an angel, as you see. Do you see it, Muslims? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Any Muslim have a comment? Where is the, or what is those seven heavens? And by the way, the Quran claimed that there is seven earth and seven heaven, not only seven heaven, in case you do not know. Allah created seven heaven and seven earth in the same likeness as numbers. All right? Hmm. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Any Muslim? We are waiting. <laughs> As you see, and by the way, uh, if you notice, YouTube is not giving notification for our videos. So if you don't mind, share the link with everybody. If you like us to come back, because if we don't reach the number 20,000, I will wait until the number 20,000 is there. So if you like us to come faster, not to wait 24 hours or even maybe two days or maybe three days, share the link with your friends. Let us have more of you. The point is, when I make a video, people don't watch the video before it. So I want to be sure that we have enough people watching the videos uh, before we move to the second one. The purpose of our videos is knowledge, is not comedy, even though it is kind of a comedy, because Islam is funny. But this is not really the purpose. Right? <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Hmm? I don't see anybody. Hmm. who is a muslim have little knowledge or a lot of knowledge he can help us if you don't like this topic by the way if this is very embarrassing for you we can change it no worry what do you think literally we can change it no problem Mm -hmm. Somebody sent me uh, in uh, uh, a message in Skype. I don't know if this is a Christian or a Muslim. Maybe he's a Muslim, I think.
And somebody is saying the book of Enoch is considered by Ethiopian. No, there's a fake book of Enoch. It's not the one we are talking about. Uh, uh, otherwise, the Bible mentioned the book of Enoch, and it is a true book. Uh, but there is a book which is false. This is the one I'm talking about. Uh, he is mentioned to me uh, about the second Corinthian uh, uh, 12. Is speaking about where it says that I know a human, a person uh, who was in, in the Messiah 14 years ago. Uh, he went up to heaven, you know. And this is uh, uh, the apostle speaking about himself that he, you know, uh, he witnessed the Messiah. This is how he got his vision uh, 14 years ago. And he did not mention that to people. This is not about a person going up to heaven literally and traveling to heaven. Uh, this is like a metaphorical thing. It is a spiritual thing, let us say. Spiritual, this is better description. Uh, and um, this is not about second or third or fourth heaven. Uh, this is about like how he felt he, he is, you know, uh, like, I'm lifted up to the sky, second, third heaven, I don't know, like, you know, with the Messiah, in the Messiah, by the Messiah. Yeah. You know, the Bible is a book of spirituality, not the book of uh, material. So even when we speak about God and his nature, you notice that the Christian don't care really too much for the nature. Uh for the nature of the Messiah in the flesh is not what we worship. Uh, what we worship is the word of God who become a man, not the man who become God. Uh, the Muslim, they focus on the nature because their God is a physical God. Their God is even does not even have a spirit. He is not a spirit and he don't have a spirit. So there's a huge difference between our God and their God and everything. Even though Muhammad, he tried to hijack Christianity and Judaism, and other belief in order to get promoted to be international. He wanted everybody to join him in his movement so he can conquer. You know, this is why he is even promising the Sabian that they will go to heaven. And the Sabian are the enemies of the Jews. The Sabian in their books, they claim that Adonai is Satan. Why he is Satan, the Sabian in their book, they say, because he ordered the Jews to do circumcision. But Muhammad himself, he copied circumcision from the Jews. So how Muhammad, he approved Sabian to be part of his faith. Simply, Sabian was a very popular faith at that time. And Muhammad trying to gather them under his wings so he can be the king of a huge army. Is the Quran teach that every level in the heaven has its own qualifi uh, qualification? <coughs> You see, the, what Muhammad spoke about qualification is uh, that those heavens are dependent in your rank. Uh, as an example, even the heaven, if you go in the Quran, actually, Muhammad is a very, he's a very shallow person. He is, a, and he is just a copy paste. Uh, as an example, if we ask the Muslims, where you will go after death, if you believe in Islam, they say to you to heaven. Okay. How many heavens? You say heaven. But the Quran promised the Muslims to heaven. Each Muslim, he will have to heaven. If you go in the Quran, you see all those words, it says Jannat, Jannat, Jannat. Jannat cannot be for two heaven, it has to be many heaven. And then, you know, the Quran in different verses comes suddenly and says, you will have two heavens. One, in, in, like in the Hadith is explained, it says that one of them is made of gold and the other one is made of silver. All of those verses keep speaking about Jannah, Jannah, and even the word Jannah, by the way, is not even Islamic, you know, because a Jannah, um, you know, the Muslim, you hear the Muslim say Jinni, 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 this is what the Jannah is. Jannah is something is hidden. Jinni is hidden. So, Jannah, uh, the heaven of the Muslims is hidden, supposedly. But isn't it Muhammad, he says, that Allah, he made them seven heavens and the stars are in the lowest heaven. So we see them. So even the name is wrong. Because in order to be Jannah, 
they have to be hidden. They have to be not unseen. But as you see, we can see them. Uh, if we go here, Let us see here. <clears throat> Read this verse with me and try to understand Muhammad, who is mentally, obviously mentally ill. Because how a person can live in two heavens at the same time? It doesn't make sense. Here we in this chapter of uh, uh, Saba 34, speaking about uh, the queen and the people of Sheba, a homeland. Uh, Allah, He gave them two heavens, one in the right and one in the left. Where, what, uh, what two heaven? Are, are they living in earth? Are they living in? in uh, uh, are, are they living in, in, in the sky? Where they are living? Muhammad, he heard fiction stories about those people. And Muhammad, he add the fiction story as it is in the Quran. And then Muhammad, he used the same term in different verse. Here you will see the Muslim they translate the word Jannah, which is heaven, as a gardens. Why Muhammad he used the word two gardens here? The one who speak Arabic he will notice right away that Muhammad was trying to make a tone. He's trying to make a rap song, which is silly and stupid. So he says, you will notice every word end with lot with what with letter n n let us type it for you so muhammad he could not find different word if he say jannah that will break the <laughs> you know what i mean if he if he say jannah jannah mean one one heaven he need to he need to add a word and do it letter n and the only way to do it if he make it two heavens this this verse end with n this verse end with n this verse end with n all of them you know one after one i mean you do not need genius this is the letter n let me but uh Put a, like a line for you, so you can read, you can see it. You see it. This is the letter N. 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 And the rest of the verses. So Muhammad, uh, he is adding words, which is meaningless, just to make a Quran. It's called Saja in Arabic. We call it Saja, which is very weak, very stupid. The Arab, when they do Saja, it was really strong. The same as a rap today. But this is silly. You know, there is in the heaven, there is two eye, there is two spring, and those two spring, they are giving water. Here we go. Why? Because he need the an, an, an to cut the ban. So he need to add an at the end. And then he add, as an example, fruit to the heaven. He look, what is the name of the fruit end with an? Ruman. Man. You know, Rumman, which is, uh, they call it uh, uh, por, pomo, pomegranate, pomegranate. You know, it ends with a n. So, like we have, we need it. Uh, and to cut the ban, he said, you know, you see. And because he could not even continue, he is out of words. Uh, like suddenly he used the word khiyam which is not in because he is weak in the language 
Qiyam is not in. Hurun maqsuratun fil Qiyam. What is what happened to Ann? Because he is out of words. So Muhammad is a person who exaggerate and he make things up in order to make it sound different. I'm trying to make a rap music here. I need those letters. So I added two heavens. If we ask the Muslims how you can live in two heavens in the same time, is it possible to live in two heavens in the same time? And why two heavens? Why Allah will give you two fountains? Why not four? Why not five? The answer is very simple. Muhammad needed letters fit with the, with the tone. And he used an, which is make it two. Two. In different place, Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he have, he divided the heaven into 100 level. Is it two heavens, seven heavens, or one hundred heaven? Muhammad, he make it as he wish. He's Muhammad. Whatever he says, people, they have to accept. We go to the hadith. You remember the, the potato, the guy, uh, uh, ultimate fart? Who he said he don't accept the hadith and the hadith written by donkey? Remember? And then I ask him about the heaven. He says the heaven is 100 level. <laughs> I said to him, where do you get this from? You said you don't accept the hadith. He said, I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, he tried to fix it, but it's too late. <laughs> well, I mean, if you don't, if you, if you are a person who believe in the Quran, does the Quran says the heaven have 100 level? This is the hadith and the guy he claimed he don't believe in the hadith. Anyway, they are, they are, you know, they are a fraud. This is the hadith, here we go. The Messenger of Allah, he said, in Jannah there are a hundred grade which Allah has prepared for those who fight in his cause. Different hadith, you will notice there's a huge difference between them. Muhammad now is making bigger poo-poo. I heard Messenger of Allah saying, paradise has one hundred grade each one of which is as big as the distance between the heaven and the earth. And the highest of them is the Firdos, and the best of them is the Firdos. The throne is above it. Above what? Above the one that's called Firdos. And this word Firdos is starting from other religion too, as usual. And it's not Arabic too. So, uh, and then here he says, and, and from it spring forth the rivers of paradise. If you ask Allah, ask him for Firdos. So the heaven of Islam is seven. Then suddenly the heaven of Islam is 100 devil. How and who is the Muslim he can do the calculation for us? How it is seven heavens and then the heaven is 100 devil. Even even if we use numbers, if we if because if you divide numbers, you see, if we want to use numbers, those numbers it cannot be divided. You know, if we go right now and we say, okay, we have one hundred have one hundred level, we are going to divide it to seven. We will find those numbers are breakable. It cannot be perfect numbers. Like if Muhammad he says there is a twelve heaven, you know. And every heaven has uh, three level that can be divided. You know what I mean? But you say one hundred level, one hundred heaven, and then you say to me those one hundred, and uh, they are the heavens of the seven heavens which Allah He created. So how we can divide each heaven to be one hundred or to be uh, each one of them is one heaven, one hundred heaven. Muhammad He says He wish, and how He promised me in the hadith before it. That this is only uh, the the one hundred uh, 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 heaven <coughs> is for the mujahideen. Here it's not for the mujahideen. This is here for everybody. And why Allah He will put heavens? Why there is even discrimination in heaven? 
either a person he deserve or he don't deserve. In paradise, there are a hundred level between each one of them, the distance of a hundred years. Okay, but we just saw the Quran saying Allah will give you two heavens. Jannah is a heaven, is a paradise. So how you will have two heavens and the distance between them is a hundred years. Are they allowed? According to Muslims, the person who live in the higher level, he can go to visit the one who live in the, level, the lower level. But the one who live in the lower level, he cannot go to second floor. Muhammad, he speak as he wish. And Muslim, they write down what Muhammad is saying. And the Christian, they are laughing. And the Muslim, they have no answer. This is the conclusion. And you know, if you ask the Muslims, Muhammad, he went to heaven. If there's any witnesses, there are no witnesses, no problem. As usual, Muhammad always have no witnesses. But Muhammad, he went to heaven. How come he found in the heaven, which is in the sky, the Euphrates River and the Nile River? If you read here, you will notice that the foolish Muhammad is stealing from the Jews. When the Bible speaks about those rivers, this is supposedly about the garden, how God, he created heaven in the beginning of the time, and there's no human being in it. And he said to Adam, go and live. This is in the earth. God created Adam on the earth in Islam now. And then we find Muhammad who stole those from the Jews, he went up to heaven and he found those heavens there. What he found? He found Jihan, Al Furat, and Neil, the Nile River, and Sihan. But Sihan, what Jihan, well, Furat, those are in the south of Turkey, north of Syria. And the Nile River is in Ethiopia. So did Muhammad go to heaven really, or he went to Ethiopia? So Muhammad, because he's a fool, he took what the Jews, they say, that the Nile River and Euphrates rivers is rivers of heaven, but speaking about the heaven of the earth, not heaven in the sky. The foolish Muhammad, he took the same thing and he put them in the sky. We have uh, Hasha, has, Hashbara. Hasbara, how are you, my friend? I'm glad to see you here. I mentioned what you said to us when we started. And maybe you can help us. Here we go. This is Hasbara. He appear again. He is the one who said, Indeed, the example of Jesus to God is the like that of Adam. He created him from dust. And he said to him, Be, and he was. So Hasbara, did Allah say to Adam, Be, before he finished him or after? Guys, what do you think he would answer today? Next week? Next month? Next year? They copy paste, they don't know what they are posting. Look at him, Hasbara. Don't play dead now. I want you to answer me. Allah, he said, be to Adam, and he was. Before he fashioned him, before he made mud, before he breathed on him, or after. I'm waiting for the answer. <laughs> Huh? Now he will go dead. Now he will stop moving. He will stop breathing. Oh, he's talking about me. Oh, no, I cannot answer this. Oh, boy, no. Oh, okay, I, guys, I have to go. It's Eid. It's Eid, okay? Like the guy from Afghanistan. I have to go now. I have work to do. Okay, I have work. Yeah, I have a lot of work. Are you there, Hasbara? Did Allah say to Adam, be? And he was before he made the mud? Before he breathed in the mud? Before he fashioned the mud or after? Mr. Hasbara, Hasbara, you, barbecue, I'm talking to you. I mean, come on, you don't dare to call me, but don't you dare to answer in the text? You keep copying this and paste it wherever you go. Well, you are just a fool if you could not answer. So did Allah say be and Adam was? 
before the thing careful Abdul I understand that my English is not good for you so I will speak like that can I brother has brother did Allah say be to Adam before he created him and before he fattened him and before he made him with mud and before he made him like a human or after brother now he will understand he did not need to say be to him he command be whatever process take place look at the answer guys he did not need to say be but he said be you idiot guys look at this look how he changed he changed his statement this guy like like the guy who make he's a fraud he go to the police every five minutes he have different statement look at this the statement he changed he did not need to say be but you just said he did say be <laughs> Then he said B. He created him from dust and then he said B. You stupid the, the question and the answer is there in the verse you posted for us. You just said he did not need to say B. He command B and whatever process take place. But you stupid, don't you see the verse? The verse says he made him from dust and then he said B. So what the P for? If he made dust, if he breathed into him, and now after he finished him, he said, B, the guy is finished. You see, I mean, you see the stupidity? The verse in the front of them is answering the question. You do not need to say B. So why are you saying B? And how he command without saying B? If the verse in the front of you said, and then he said, look, he, he, he just said, he do not need to say B. So why the verse says, and this is your post, he said, if you do not need, he said, do you see the word say, this is your translation, this is your post, you idiot. So if Adam is already fashioned from mud, and Adam is already Allah, he breathed into him, so what the point of B? The guy is already created, he have his soul already, so what the B do? <laughs> Copy, paste, stupidity. You do not need to say B, okay? But so why is saying B? What command? If if the if, if Allah can make Adam by a command, why he's having his hands in the mud, and why he is breathing into him, and why he is fashioning him as a man? Just say B, and he was. That's it. So if we go in the Quran, we will find that this is a lie. Allah did not say B, and he was. He made, you know, he he brought dirt. He brought water, he mixed them together, and then he fashioned him as a man, and the look of a man, like a statues, and then he breathed into him, and then Adam come to life. So who need the bee? Is in the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ And the human being was ever hasty, and the story is, that when Allah, he breathed into Adam, Adam start talking. Here we go, Allah, he breathed into Adam, before Allah, he say bee. And Adam is talking in Arabic. And he said to him, Allah finished me before the sunset. The same way you ask, hold on, hold on, you see it's stupidity. Now I understand why Andrew, he, he blocked your message because you are really a, 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 a troll. Look what he just said. Look what he said. The same way, ask why Jesus had no father. What does what this have to do with this? First of all, you need to answer the question. In Christianity, we know the answer because his father is God. In Islam, why you have no father? You have no answer. Everybody is born, you have a father, except Jesus. Why? You have no answer. If you claim this is just to be a miracle, well, this is a miracle nobody can prove. I can say now, my mother, she can say, well, she gave birth to me and she was a virgin. It's too late to check it out. <laughs> see how they escape so let me repeat the question again Abdul Allah he fashioned he brought dirt he collected the dirt he mixed it with water and then he fashioned it as a man and then he breathed into it and then Allah he said be is Allah stupid or what so why he breathed and if we read the verse in the Quran, we will find nowhere Allah, he said, be when he was creating Adam. We find he breathed into him and this is the last thing he did. Let us go to the stupid Muhammad book. Here we go. 
Desperate, desperate. Stupid religion. Allah. And we can show you the hadith of your prophet, how Allah created Adam, he would die laughing. This is the chapter 15. Read carefully. Where is the bee? And indeed, we created the man. This is the chapter 15, verse number 26. Indeed, we created the man from sounding clay of alter black smooth. Okay, do you see it? So not only it's a clay, he had to cook it. And then he created the jinn, the genie. It's what the Christian don't understand. The, the, most, the, the Christian, they think the Muslim believe in, believe in the demon. They don't believe in demon. They don't have demon in their religion. Genie is not a demon. There's many dummy Christians who they call themselves a Christian without education in the Bible or neither in, the, in Islam. They say that the Muslim, they have demon. Demon is not a genie. Genie is a person who can have even sex with women. Even he have a wife, he have the women, he sleep with them, he have a female wife, he have a penis, and he have, she have a vagina. So the jinn is created from smokeless flame, okay? Did Allah say to the genie be? And he was? No. The Quran says, Allah, he created shaitan by his two hands. Is that true? This is the chapter 38, verse number 75. Allah, he said to Iblis, which means Biblos, what prevented you from prostrating before what I have created with my own hands? How Adam was created? By the hands of Allah. Read it. Not by B. Do you see it, Muhammadan? Did Allah create Adam by saying B or by his hands? B is God who says something, it come to be without using his hands. If I use my hands, the word B is useless. Because why I'm using my hands? God in the Bible says, let be light, and light was. There's no need to do anything. He did not go to the laboratory to make light. Let be light. Light was. Here you see that Allah, he used his hands. And look, did he say, I created you. I created you, Adam. With my own hands. And by the way, it doesn't say my own hands. It says my both hands. Be a day. Do you see it? So this is a phrase from the Quran. They copy paste, proving to us how 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 uh, how silly, how stupid this religion. When they try to refute Christianity, we die laughing. Because as you see, Allah did not use B to create Adam. Adam was breathing, and yet Allah did not say B. Adam was talking, and Adam and Allah yet did not say B. Any Abdul? Who want to call us? Who want to call us to help us to understand the stupidity of Muhammad? Huh? And not only that, by the way, Allah he, in the Quran, he claimed that the reason Adam is not perfect because Allah, he created him like he was a rush. Why? Because Adam was rushing him to finish him. Can you believe it? Can you believe that this is coming from a God? How in the world does God become a God? So in order to explain why a human being is like what he is, oh, I created him and it was a rush.
Read and laugh. <laughs> According to the Muhammadan Quran, chapter 21, verse number 37. Allah, he created the human and he was a rush. Why? We don't know. Who is rushing you? If you don't like what I'm saying, we can open the interpretation. Chapter 21, verse number 37. Let us go. 21. 37. Try not to laugh. I challenge you. Read it. Muslims, Allah was in a rush for what? <laughs> I has them in sending it so he God made them suffer death at the battle of but what the heck is this what does this have to do with the made in Adam and what the heck is that Muhammad he want to explain why his men are a bunch of potatoes he said well Allah he created Adam he was you know he was in a rush when he created him that's why we have what we have. We have a bunch of dummies, including him. But there's no connection. Read it. If you don't like a Jalalain, as you see, this is not my interpretation. We can go to a different one. Ibn Abbas is an example, the cousin of Muhammad, or the uncle, uh, 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 you know, whatever you want. The uncle of Muhammad himself, and the cousin of Muhammad himself. And the cousin of the cousin of Muhammad himself. What do you think? This is Asbab al Nuzul. Where is Ibn Abbas? Hold on. Ah, they took it off. Let us see. Uh, here we go. What do you think, Muslims? Allah, he made Adam in a haste, of a haste. He is haste, hasty. Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the, before the sun set. So Allah like, what? Okay, the sun is setting. Okay, let me finish you fast because, okay, I know I have to do it. Any Abdul? And if you don't like, we can go to Ibn Kathir, which is, you know, by the way, Ibn Kathir, he present the, a YouTuber in his time. Ibn Kathir is a person who lived between the Christians, who make him fun of Islam, and he decided to refute them. So Ibn Kathir, he present uh, like somebody in YouTube today who lie a lot in order to defend. Like Ibn Kathir, he did discover that the sun set in murky water. He said, well, they don't mean that, but you will see that previous scholars didn't say that. So he is in a time where, where people became way more advanced in science. So he decided to do a YouTuber like today. And he is very flexible and he changed what the Quran is saying. But if we, even if we go to Ibn Kathir, as you see, we will love. Uh, man is a creator of haste because he delays 
the punishment until time when he once he sized him. What is that? Look at that. Look at the interpretation. <laughs> In different verse, I mean, you see, Muslim, Muslim cleric, they try to duct tape their prophet left and right. In different verses, it says, and the human was ever hasty. Why? Because he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. Chapter 17, verse number 11. We go to the Nicotheo, the same book, the same liar. The same liar. <clears throat> See it, Muslims? The same Abdul. We are not getting a different Abdul. Abdul as you wish. Abdul under your command. A man is ever hasty. Salman al Farisi said, Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathing to him. Hey, uh, Abdul, do you see the verse you gave me, Hasbara? It says that Allah He made the command be after He finished Adam, after He breathed. Here we go. Adam is still complaining, saying to Allah, finish me before the sun set. So if the command be, and the funny is this Hasbara, he said, whatever that command the process is, what process? If it's B, it's B. What process? B, it's mean it was. Does it say in the front of you? B, and it was. Let us go to the previous one. B, and it was. But he was not. B and he was. As you see, Adam is complaining now. Allah, he breathed into him. And Adam, he started looking at his feet. He tried to move up. He could not. So Adam, he said to Allah, please be Allah, finish me before the sun set. Do you see it? So how Allah, he said, be and he was. And how Jesus is the same as Adam. 